the midst of the swing 60s, the Beatles were taking the world by storm as the four band members were quickly catapulted into stardom. The iconic foursome were recognized as the biggest band the world had ever seen, consisting Paul McCartney, John Lennon, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. Millions of fans around the world were left heartbroken when the four friends from Liverpool split when Paul announced the end of the Beatles over 50 years ago, in April 1970. After their incredible stint as the worldwide rock stars, rumors were initially sparked that there was hatred between the bandmates, specifically between formal pals, Paul and John. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a Mirror Newsletter here. Whilst these rumors quickly circulated, it's since been revealed that it was far from the truth. In fact, Sir Paul described the post-Beatles ordeal with his former bandmate as pretty hurtful. He addressed the accusation of hate between the Fab Four, that initially sparked when the band split followed from a decade of hit records, rocketed stardom, and world tours came. Despite speculation at the time, the rock star insisted that the band members never hated each other, despite what was made out in the press. In an interview with British GQ in 2020, Paul appeared to blame then-manager Alan Klein for the demise of the band, and the threat to their label Apple Records. I suppose when the Beatles broke up perhaps there was a misconception we all sort of hated each other, he said. What I realize now is it was a family, a gang. Families argue and have disputes. Some people want to do this and some want to do that. The only way for me to save the Beatles and Apple was to sue the band. If I hadn't done that, it would have all belonged to Alan Klein, he added. The only way I was given to get us out of that was to do what I did. He said his action enabled the release of Anthology and all these great remasters of Beatles records as well as the forthcoming documentary film Get Back, by director Peter Jackson. Paul will add another stint to his solo career by taking to Glastonbury Festival's iconic stage as a headliner on Saturday 25th of June. The festival is well underway of its long-awaited return, and will continue until Sunday. The rock star will take to the stage after the COVID-19 pandemic cancelled the festival in both 2020 and 2021. Paul is not the only headliner for the event, with other stars making an appearance, including Diana Ross, Kendrick Lamar, and Billie Eilish, who has made history as the show's youngest ever headliner. Ahead of his appearance at the festival, the superstar has unveiled that he is loving the cosmic vibes of the festival ahead of his headline set. Sir Paul, who last topped the bill back in 2004, wrote in his book The Lyrics, I loved the idea that we were probably on the confluence of ley lines, the lines that crisscross the globe and along which our ancestors are thought to have set up significant sites. Glastonbury is also said to be the place where King Arthur is buried. So, one way or another, it's a very special place and it has a very definite vibe, he added. There is simply no denying that it has a distinct aura. Ever since the 1960s I've been interested in constellations, cosmology and cosmic sounds. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at trinitamirror.com or call us direct 207 29